Welcome to On Acting. In this episode, I'm going to talk about joining the SAG after union. In order to qualify, you'll become eligible for SAG after membership under some of the following conditions. First, if you have proof of SAG or after employment, which means that you're currently working in a position covered by the SAG or an after a collective bargaining agreement. A second way is you, if you complete three days work as a background actor under the joint SAG after collective bargaining agreement. The third is you have employment under an affiliated performers union. This means that you're a fully paid up member of an affiliated performers union such as ACTRA or Actors Equity and have been so for at least one year and have been and have worked and been paid for at least one job as a principal performer in that union's jurisdiction. If you think you've got all the information together and you're eligible, you'll contact your nearest SAG after office so that they can advise you on the current process and the current amounts of the joining fees. They'll also initiate a check on your eligibility status. If your file is not on record or it's incomplete, you can submit some of the following as proof of eligibility. They want an original paycheck, uh, an original paycheck stub, or an original activity printout, or a report from the payroll company that states your name, your social security number, the name of the production company, the title of the production, the salary paid in dollars, and the specific dates that you worked. Now the payroll company must submit this documentation directly to the SAG after membership services department. Because if you try to submit stuff on your own, like background vouchers and copies of the paycheck stubs, uh, they won't be accepted as proof of work and submitting these documents will only delay the verification process of your SAG after, of your SAG after eligibility. Now your application and proof of employment will be investigated by the union and they'll decide if it's valid or not. Now, in addition to, to the proper eligibility documentation, you'll also need to include uh, your name, your current address, your current telephone number, and your date of birth on a separate piece of paper. Uh, you'll also want to include an additional self-addressed stamped envelope so that they can return all your documentation to you. Now, you have two choices. You can either mail this stuff in or you can deliver the documentation in person, in person if you live close to a SAG after office in your area. Uh, once the verification is completed, you'll receive a letter of eligibility from the union. So you should wait until after you receive your original documentations back in the mail in that self-addressed stamped envelope that you gave them before contacting them about making arrangements to work out a deal about paying the joining fees. And that's basically it. You'll want to check with them and receive the latest information, check the websites, and that's it. So as always, you can contact us at onacting101 at gmail.com if you have any more questions. Thank you.